Feature Cam 2015 now allows multiple faces or surfaces to be selected when using interactive feature recognition to create face features. This enhancement prevents users having to repeatedly create individual face features, improving the workflow and subsequently reducing programming time. If I come to the part view for this particular part, we have pre-programmed boss, pocket and side features. If I take a view from the front and zoom in, what we can see is we have an initial millimeter of stock which still needs to be faced. Additionally, the way that we're cutting the part currently, we still require material to be removed from the top of the spider emblem and additionally over the Delcam logo. So if I go ahead and play through the machining sequence, this will become quite evident. So you can see we machine the spider, the Delcam logo, we then have our boss to give the shape of the shield component, and we then have numerous pocketing operations. If I orientate the view, we can clearly see the spider is the same depth as the rest of the component representing the initial stock Z height. Additionally this is the same with the Delcam logo around the top region. So what we want to do is create three separate face features one for the surface highlighted here, one for the spider and another face feature for the Delcam logo improvements to creating face features using interactive feature recognition now means I can select multiple surfaces to create the features I need. So I'm going to go ahead and come into the feature wizard. I'm going to choose a new face feature and extract with feature recognition. I can then go ahead and select all the surfaces that I need. I've done this using my shortcut key to select by color. I can add these faces into the wizard like so. Click next in order to find relevant face features. I'm then prompted that FeatureCam has found multiple features and it's asking if I wish to create all found features. In this case I can say yes and clearly from the part view we have three face features created. I'm going to go to my results tab we can see these have been placed at the bottom like so. I'm happy with this ordering. I'm just going to drag face 1 above face 2 and 3. And once again, play through my machining sequence. But this time we incorporate the relevant facing features to give us the height required in Z for the various elements of our components like so. In this case we have a few gouges on the part and this can easily be rectified by simply changing the size of the tool. So for face 2 I can go ahead change the size of the tool maybe to something slightly smaller say apply and OK and rerun the simulation we can now see the improvement shown like so.